Hi, I'm Bob. Um, I'm a husband, a father, and I'm a building contractor. So I was driving one day and it was just, my eye just took off. Just one side. So I have Graves thyroid eye disease and myasthenia gravis. Um, the biggest, the hardest part for me is I couldn't work. Um, I was always, I had one crew, I was part of the crew, and I couldn't work. So I took all this medicine, and <laughs> I, I wanted it done right away. In my business, you want something done right away. So I would go to the doctor and say, why can't you fix it, you know, let's do it now. And everybody said to wait. Um, you know, it, it'll take a year, it'll take six months, you know, I, I wanted it done now. Um, I needed somebody to take control of it, and, and nobody wanted to take control. Um, God, just looking at these pictures, just <laughs> it's hard for me. Um... I had radiation, I took prednisone. Next week, I'm totally off of prednisone. I'm still, I'm still on prednisone this week, but next week I'm off. Um, I didn't have any of the, uh, the cloudiness or, you know, maybe I did, but the prednisone, the prednisone made me edgy and made me, and I called it Mean Bob. <laughs> but uh, I think that's what helped. I mean, they, they kept the swelling down, and I don't know, I guess, Kimberly, can you help me with that? With that did that help me? Yeah. yeah. Did, so, so did, mean, did, did it help me? Mean, so Mean Bob had, had a bunch going on because, you know, he's hyperthyroid, and he, so my senior is, is sensitive to prednisone. And thyroid is sensitive to prednisone, but Bob was sensitive to prednisone. I was sensitive to prednisone, was right. I mean, and and Bob was uh, like to do what with his medications? Yeah, sometimes I would add more, or take away yeah. some, and Whoa. yeah, I, I would do that. Yeah, I just so, wanted to fix it. And I thought I knew more well, than the doctors, but in what? the beginning, nobody was giving me any. I mean. And then I, I went to Kimberly and she, she took control of it. I mean, she, I, or took control of me. And I think that was more of it. <laughs> um, no, it's hard. I think so. Obviously, this is a disease that more commonly affects women. But my men are the toughest. Um, my men more commonly have myasthenia gravis or don't respond to therapy as well. Um, they tend to be madder. My women tend to be sadder. Um, and it's just hard because guys are supposed to take control of their lives. They run their families, they run their businesses, and it's I, don't know, I think the anger might have helped me a little bit too, but sometimes I would get really angry. But, and not enough that I would hit walls and th things like that, but I gotta give credit to my wife. <laughs> I mean, she stuck by me through, <laughs> through some times where I was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I I guess I wanted to, you know, say something to people today. And, and I mean, I can see today. I mean, I can work. I'm out there swinging a hammer. I can cut. I don't see two lines when I'm cutting. Cutting on a, a, a you know, cutting a board. Um, you know, it, it's back the way it is. I don't care if I, I don't look the way, you know, maybe I'm a little puffy still, and, and that's okay. But, uh, I mean, you can take the medicine, but the surgery is, is what helped me, I think. And, because uh, I, I had to work. I, I mean, I want to work. I, I, I like that. So... Okay. Questions for Bob. Enough for me. <laughs> 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 so the chemistry 
surgery had was called strip and surgery. So the surgery to correct the condition of the eye muscle. I had radiation too. Or should we did radiation. Yeah, and so he had radiation because his TSI was very high and he was very active had plasma phoresis, which is, so here's his muscles, so they're very large, but the, actually the motility problem, the way he moved was due to the myasthenia, which is that neurologic thing I told you about, and so it was definitely a, a fencing going back and forth with other doctors trying to get control of what he was on to try to get them to not over-medicate him. Um, and this was right before surgery, when it had become more of a problem of, of the eye being a stable problem. And this is the point at which the strabismus surgery works. And so um, the, it has, ha, we talked about double vision. When the double vision is intermittent, like some of you guys mentioned yours is, this doesn't work. But when, obviously, this doesn't, doesn't make for a very productive worker if you can't, you see two, two hammers and two, two yeah. nails. So, and, and we have ongoing, you know, issues. As, as we talked about, you're still on the prednisone. Um, but everybody has to, you know, you need to choose a doctor who's going to drive your, drive your management. One of the things that can be difficult is if you have different doctors who are, who are disagreeing, you need to get them on the same page. And then one person needs to be your person. Yep. I just, I say this to myself, but I think that we need a doctor who treats the whole person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I have an endo and I have a neuro yeah. and I have a regular doctor and none of them kind of... <laughs> Yeah. work together and yeah. so that's a real challenge yep and you have to make one of those doctors be that doctor for you they can then communicate with the other physicians um, but it's hard because yeah they don't have access to each other's records and you need to make sure like I was saying that you keep your records you have your scans you make them write letters to each other so that they keep in communication well that's the one right here thank you thank Any you other questions? Yeah. Uh,